Have you ever been at church alone in the dark? This place makes some weird and scary noises. The reality is we are living in scary, fearful times. A lot of people are scared about this pandemic. Your parents, maybe they're scared about their financial future. You might be worried about how am I ever going to learn algebra if I have to teach myself. The truth is we all have fears. If it's whether or not we're going to get into college or whether we're gonna make that team or if we're gonna fit in or if we're gonna miss out, those are real fears that we all face. Most of our fears can be tied to the fear of death. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does my fear have to do with the fear of death? Well, it might not be the fear of physical death, but it could be the fear of the death of something, like the death of a dream or the death of a goal or the death of uh, even the hope of maybe a specific relationship or uh, any number of things. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 is talking about Easter. He's talking about the resurrection of Jesus. And this is what he says about death, which I think equates to what he is saying about fear. He says, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? When Jesus died and rose again, he defeated death. When he rose again, he gave us victory over our fears. He gave us victory over our hopelessness because we now know that we live in victory despite the fact that one day death might come. It isn't final. Have you ever thought of what makes your fear feel so powerful? It's the fact that it feels so final. Like we're afraid of death because it feels like that's the end of everything. We're afraid of missing out because we feel like that's the end of the world. We're afraid of all kinds of things because we think that it has more power than it actually does. Back in the place that we started in the uh, scary church auditorium, I turned the lights on this time, but I wanted to talk to you about the main point of this is that the fact that Jesus defeated death a long time ago, 2000 years ago, through the power of the Spirit of God is the reality that you and I as believers in Jesus have that same spirit in us. So if Jesus defeated death, and got victory over death through his resurrection. That means that his resurrection has granted us the power to live without fear. So what does that mean? That means that whatever it is that you are afraid of is not the end. Whatever it is that is causing you fear is not the end. So if you're afraid of this pandemic, guess what? It's not the end. If you are afraid of your math grades going because you can't figure it out, it's not the end. Jesus has the end in his hands. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't worry about things or we can't actually uh, be fearful of certain things. What it means is that we are now equipped to understand that fear does not have the power that it once had because it is not the end and that God has all of this in his hands and he is the one who is going to take care of his children. So we're gonna talk about what that means a little bit more in our Zoom call. We're also playing games this week, so make sure you are there Sunday night at six o'clock. I will see you then, and I hope you enjoyed this video.